Hello everybody, how are you doing today? As uh, anyone that loves children knows and has done any research, Child Protective Services in this country is not um, all that protective. And they take in what they call unfit parents and um, go after their children very aggressively. I've experienced this for about four years now because of my um, my knowledge of health and the lymphatic system and the discoveries I didn't want certain things for my son Christian however Kaiser Permanente doctors labeled me a nuisance and Child Protective Services was on my case for about four years on various issues and it was pathetic and when unfit parents are uh, taken to court you know they're put on trial and you know basically you're gonna lose if you go into that kangaroo court However, with the when the players involved, when you find them in a little unfit business, um, I feel they should be held accountable too. Because after view, putting all the pieces together, I think we have an issue in San Diego County with some unfit, an unfit court-appointed attorney. This is my opinion, and I'm gonna let you all be the judge of what happened here with my son Christian. And um, you be the judge if there's a little inconsistencies in this paperwork that I'm about to show you. A second grader could figure this out, <laughs> you know, after I've, you know, marked up these things. So I, you know, law is confusing for a reason, and I'm about to show you some paperwork, and hopefully you can figure it out as well. So here's Berta Atkinson. This is who I, um, who helped take my kid. And uh, she's a, a court-appointed attorney in San Diego. This is her declaring she's an attorney on 8-13-15. This is a while ago. I just figured it out um, clearly. That's supposed to be clearly. Berta Atkinson stating that she is the attorney of record for the Christian's mother. You know, she helped Christian's mother take my son from me. And we'll talk about that on another video. I'm just going to show you the uh, fraud that occurred, in my opinion. So Bert is stating she's an opinion uh, attorney on 8-13-15. Here on the same day, it says Jennifer Arnold, that's Christian's mother, is the attorney. This is where attorneys put their name. If you've ever been to court and you have an attorney, it's always the attorney's name here. That is not an attorney. As we see here, declaration of attorney on 8-13, Berta Atkinson. That's her handwriting. This is Berta Atkinson's handwriting, and she's acting like Jennifer Arnold is the attorney. Um, and let's quickly go in another inconsistency at this courtroom. Um, well, attorneys have told me that this is a kangaroo court. You'll uh, get more justice in a third world country than you will in a United States juvenile court. And this paperwork pretty much proves it, in my opinion. We'll see what the state bar has to say about Berta. There's an investigation at the state bar. Um, I didn't do this. Remember, I did not do this. Minute order states that Jean P. Leonard, she's a woman, was the judicial officer on 8-13-15. This is, in my opinion, not true. 8-13, it says, does it say Imhoff? This is Michael Imhoff. God bless him. However, something happened here, and they stole my kid, in my opinion, and I haven't seen him since. He was in a coma. No one even called me. Um, I try to visit. I get restraining orders for knocking on the door. Well, I didn't get it. I, People try to get a restraining order. The judge and the other is somewhat is honorable and didn't give that. But so here's eight thirteen fifteen, as you see here. Eight thirteen. It says John P. Leonard. Here's all your attorneys present. Bert Atkinson. She was there at the mother. Yet she's not on paperwork saying she's the attorney again. Eight thirteen. John Leonard. What does it say here? Imhoff. Inconsistency. There's two attorneys there. Please. That's pathetic. Um, the one attorney asked for a continuance and asked to talk to make contact with Christian. I doubt he talked to Christian. There was no continuance. Here's a computer-generated signature from John Leonard, even though I'm suspicious that Michael Limhoff was actually there. Um, I don't think they want blood on their fingers for giving a kid. At this point, it was this was to give Christian experimental chemo, the first chemo that I didn't even want anyway, but... Had to tell him I wanted it so I could see Christian. That all failed, and this is gets him an experimental chemo, and that didn't work either. So here's John P. Leonard. She's no longer on the bench. This is from 2013. So she retired two years prior to this from another county. So John Leonard likes to drive an hour and a half each way to go take kids from their parents. I mean, that's pretty sick if that's what she likes to do in retirement, but 
Hopefully the state bar calls her up and asks her where she was on 8 13 because that's what's going down right now. Here's evidence that I feel the County of San Diego attorneys are aware of the misconduct. See, this is an appeal that I had, and I didn't really understand that the court had the ability to put judges that aren't there on paperwork. I thought they had some integrity, and maybe they do. We'll see what happens. Evidence that the County of San Diego attorneys are aware of the misconduct. See, this is stating Michael Imhoff was there. Attention here is held in the same courtroom before the same judicial officers that handled the pre hearings in the first dependency case. See, I've been in this courtroom before. It's, it's an interesting spot. It's not where you want to be because you're going to lose because it's a big, it's one team. They call it a good old boys club. And what I'm hearing, that takes on a whole new meaning these days. So same judicial officer, that's Michael Imhoff. So here's the jurisdiction hearing. This is when they basically take your kid. The mother was present with counsel, but they don't say that the judge present because I said John P. Leonard was present because that's what the paperwork was, and obviously they don't uh, question that, and they don't say anything. So they accepted that John Leonard wasn't even there, and they know it, and they allowed a kid to get experimental chemo because of it. Not seeing his dad, now they want money from me? Are you kidding me? I didn't want this crap for him. No mention of the judicial officer present on the date in question, exactly. So, and here's the disposition hearing. This basically kicks it out of their court. And that says Commissioner Imhoff was there. Commissioner Imhoff, I think he was there for the whole whole show. And here's another issue. Michael Imhoff is, um, you know, all these attorneys should be named be on there. This is when they ship out a final order. And, um... His name, all these attorneys' names from the county should be there. And the social worker. I've, you know, had another order against me in the earlier rounds of juvenile shenanigans. And all attorneys were here. But Michael Imhoff, he's just unaware of uh, where the attorneys are. Because probably they don't want knowledge of this. Because they know this is highly, in my opinion, illegal and they probably don't want knowledge of it to get sued and they could probably say, oh, that's not even a valid order if they did get sued. So they they push this out and there's more inconsistencies. Look at the other video with Kaiser Permanente and their CEO, what happened. See, this medical decisions for the child or to the mother. So this gave Christian, basically put him in a coma, give him experimental chemo, don't let him see his dad. So this is this is how you protect children. In my opinion, this is emotional abuse on a child from taking him from his dad. Um, so, I mean, in this country, we have an issue of, apparently with child trafficking. You see it everywhere, and I have a feeling there's about to hit, get some more news. I mean, get into the Podesta emails, Epstein Island, um, Franklin cover-up. Um, these aren't conspiracies. There's the facts that went, you know, all the evidence is there and we have an issue with children and trafficking of children. The definition is a legal movement of a child for profit. And as you just seen, I, this isn't maybe an illegal movement of a child and all these guys made money. You want to know how much money all these people made on my son, Kaiser Permanente? They made millions. And what happened? They stole, my kid's gone. I mean, they took him. I haven't seen him since. Um, in my opinion, that's child trafficking by San County of San Diego, these employees. It's my opinion. I mean, tell me how this is a legal document. Put it all in writing. Show me John P. Leonard. I asked him, show me John P. Leonard's on all them documents from August 13, 2015 and all the other hearings. I'm waiting to hear back from the state bar. We'll see what happens and maybe this is legal as it gets. You know, I feel it's pretty inconsistent when you have two judges there on the same day on the same court issued documents you have the attorney filling out the paperwork for the mother saying the mother was the attorney when she's declaring she was the attorney on the same day none of the county attorneys get this order um in my opinion the magistrates are this this case is a magician who tried to put on an illusion to make everyone think oh this is real but when it came to you know that chemo is experimental that's highly that ain't jesus juice so if anything went bad, if they got sued, I guess they could say, well, it ain't a valid order. Well, when a parent's considered unfit, they're booted. They're out. Now, if this attorney's unfit and this is a fraud, I think she should be out because she's now, uh, I'll try to get you that paperwork. She's, uh, <laughs> she got a, I'll get on another video. She's a firm director of child 
you know, attorneys. You know, I don't even think she goes to the courtroom. She's got like 10 attorneys under her now. She got a promotion within six months of this. So, yeah, that's your, that's your child protective services. We'll say that. So watch your kids, everyone. Lock your doors. We got to build a wall around the juvenile court. We want to protect child trafficking. I think we should put a you know a big wall out the front door so parents don't get in there because their children might be a uh, legal movement of children for profit. So that's the definition of child trafficking. So in my opinion, this is child trafficking. Christian, I love you. Jacob, I love you. Hopefully, uh, see you guys again. Um, some people can tell the truth on some things. It would be nice if those in charge could just tell the truth because I think we're in an era of telling the truth. So always good. Get to bomb things and get it over with. Get behind us and move on. Because that's what I'm looking to do. But these people in authority, I've been, you know, I sent a couple letters out. We'll see what happens. And, you know, we'll end it. And this is back to a hell show. So, anyway, God bless you all. Bye. This song goes out to the Mana Ayohana and everyone out there practicing sustainable living in themselves and for the community. <laughs> Mahalo for the pa'i'ai In a time when a culture could die If you take away the water Our precious bye-bye Oh mana'ai Mahalo for the pa'i'ai In a time when a people could cry Cause they're abusing the aina Aole malama So let's not feed Our hunger with greed It's time we plant the seed And remember true Hawaii Kanaka maoli Don't let it die don't say that we didn't try To break on through the lies I look into the inside A cool guy die Like a pelu in the sea A school we must be Planting color to feed our family He's singing our songs To help each other along Keiki o kaaina Stand strong Well, we can talk about sustainability But most of this land is leased to company could care less about the people and the land they grow upon just becomes a chemical farm they're doing harm and what have these companies done for us anyway most of the food they grow just gets sent away to another place then they say it to our face if we didn't have them we'd starve in just a few days well our way we are here to make our stand today And I know there's a lot of people out there who feel the same way Don't let them trick you, they're out to deceive But everyone's entitled to what they believe So I be chanting mana I Mahalo for the pa'i'ai In the time when we look through the lies Stared them in the eyes and told them that this truth wears no disguise. And like Opelu in the sea, a school we must be. Planting color to feed 
with our family, singing our song to help each other along. Keiki o kaaina, stand strong, stand strong. Like Opelu in the sea, a school we must be. Planting kalo to feed our family, singing our song to help each other along. Keiki o kaaina, stand strong. Keiki o kaaina, keiki o kaaina. Strong. Children of the land, Kikyoka Aina, stand strong. <laughs>